Hey guys. So, Hawkeye on Disney Plus is a mystery show that has been so far pretty coy about a lot of its characters. You're, you're Hawkeye. And who the hell are you? Half of the characters we know, we still don't really know that much about. We don't know who killed Armand. We don't know why the tracksuits are looking for a watch. We don't even know who the identity of the main villain is halfway through the series. So is it Jack? Is it Eleanor? Is it Kingpin, aka Wilson Fisk, who's finally going to show up? But above all these questions, where did my favorite character come from? You guessed it, we're going to be talking about the origins of my favorite character in the show Hawkeye, Pizza Dog. Pizza Dog, or Lucky as some people have called him, has been a regular on the show and a star since the very first episode. And yet, we don't really know all that much about him. He just shows up in our characters' lives one day as a hero for the sole purpose of overshadowing everyone else that appears on screen at the same time. People online have taken to referring to Pizza Dog as Lucky as the series is based off and inspired by the comic book series by Matt Fraction and Jeff Lemire that has the same name, and Lucky is the name of the dog that appears in that series. However, the show itself has been really cagey about giving this dog the same name. In fact, the show keeps on bringing up the fact that the dog doesn't have a name. Uh, look out. You don't have to name this dog, you know? Sure. Little Caesar. Dog father. Sir Dog of Pizza. Pizza Dog. Almost as if it's asking us to ask more questions about this dog and where it came from. The reason why we can suspect there's more to this dog than meets the eye is that Pizza Dog's knowledge heavily implies that he's smarter than the average dog. We all know that dogs seem like they can understand people pretty often, but Lucky takes us to a whole new level with his ability to identify someone he has never met, aka the tracksuit mafia member trying to steal the watch, as a villain, and yet he also identifies Clint as an ally. He seems extremely house trained for a dog that's basically a stray, and he has no identification on him at all. Oh, we gotta walk the dog. You're not wrong. He's been cooped up all day. I'm quite sure how long a dog can Call yourself one of the world's greatest archers. I do. I should walk the dog. Do what do you think? Been cooped up all day. So, where did this enigmatic canine actually come from? Well, let's look at the clues. Number one Lucky first appears at the auction. We're introduced to Pizza Dog at the illegal black market auction where Kate and Jack each acquire some one-of-a-kind Ronin memorabilia. He's found hanging around outside and when a thug from the tracksuit mafia attempts to steal a watch that was recovered from the wreck of Avengers Compound, Pizza Dog intervenes and actually attacks this criminal. We then see Kate Bishop approach Pizza Dog and he promptly runs away requiring Kate to go save that dog from traffic. Secondly, Lucky has no collar and a missing eye. So, now to overshadow Nicholas Fury as the best character in the MCU with only one eye, Lucky is missing his left eye just like the former director of S.H.I.E.L.D. and doesn't seem to have any ID on him. Now, New York City is not exactly famous for its abundance of stray golden retrievers, so we have to ask the question, what exactly is he doing there and how has no one rounded him up? Finally, Lucky seems to know good from bad. And as I mentioned before, one of the first times we see Marvel's best boy, he's seen attacking a member of the tracksuit mafia unprovoked. He seems to be very tentative around characters, as he didn't really approach Kate at first, but with some other characters, especially Clint, 
He seems exceptionally friendly, as if he already knew who he was. So, without further ado, Lucky's real identity is actually Cosmo the Space Dog. Alright, hear me out. First shown in Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmo was a member of the Collector's Collection on Nowhere. After the destruction of Tavon's museum during that movie, we see Cosmo still hanging out with the Collector, along with Howard the Duck in the post credit scene of this movie. So, we still know that Cosmo is still on Nowhere. Now, since the end of Guardians of the Galaxy gets a little more confusing, we don't fully know where he goes, however, we do see Howard the Duck has left, and we see him alongside Yondu and the Ravagers on another planet. Cosmo doesn't show up at all in this movie, but it's led us to believe that either Cosmo remained with Tavon on Nowhere as part of the collection, or he went with his new friend Howard and possibly partnered up with the Ravagers. Now, if Cosmo had stayed with Tavon, he would be around for the second time the collection was destroyed, when Thanos arrived there in Infinity War, destroying it in order to acquire the Reality Stone. So, this forces Cosmo to just wander around the universe, possibly aimlessly. However, at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy 2, we get a tiny little Cosmo cameo, which moves directly from his face to the Ravagers, kind of implying a connection there as if Cosmo would have joined up with them. Now, whether the Cosmo joined up with the Ravagers after the destruction of the collection, or has just been hanging out with Howard this whole time. Either way, we see both Howard and the Ravagers come to Earth in Avengers Endgame in the Battle of Earth. And boom goes the dynamite. We have Cosmo arriving on Earth in 2023. Now, Lucky secretly being Cosmo the Space Dog would actually explain so much. His missing eye, just being a random notion to his character, is actually a war wound from the actual Battle of Earth. His affection for the Avengers and Avengers memorabilia could have been from his memories of fighting alongside them, as those would have been his friends in that battle. It also explains why he cares so much about Avengers relics and Avengers stuff from the compound, and was actually willing to fight people for them. Along with his ability to recognize friend from foe, in terms of the tracks of Mafia and Clint, of course he remembers Clint as a friend, because he remembers seeing him back then. And of course, as a former member of the collection, and Tavon's personal dog, he possibly has a little bit of an interest in protecting people's personal collections. So here you might say, that's kind of crazy, because we see Cosmo twice in Guardians and Guardians 2, and every time he's portrayed, he appears to be a yellow lab. However, Lucky, the pizza dog, is a golden retriever. But, with a quick Google search and a little check on the MCU wiki, we see that Cosmo the Space Dog is actually part yellow lab and part golden retriever. So anyways guys, that's my theory. The best boy of Marvel's Hawkeye is actually a space traveling alien. Well, I guess he's from Earth. The best boy from Marvel's Hawkeye is actually a former Russian space traveling dog, what used to be called Cosmo, now masquerading as a household favorite. So guys, what do you think? Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm onto something? Or do you think I'm just trying to bring a dog from space back into our characters' lives? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.